Hello everyone, and welcome. Grab yourself some beans, pick your brewing method, make yourself a cup of coffee, and let's talk about bitter and sour tastes in our coffee. So if you're anything like me, you get coffee where you can. Of course, you like to get it at a local cafe, but you won't say no to some gas station coffee if the need arises. And maybe you've wondered, what does the cafe do that's so different from the gas station, and why does the gas station coffee taste so so bitter, so harsh. And of course, there are a lot of differences and many reasons why coffee can come out bitter or sour, and we're gonna talk about them in detail here. But first, just so we're on the same page, when I say bitter, I'm referring to a taste, comparatively, to tonic water. If you've ever tried this stuff straight, you know it can be pretty harsh, and tonic water has the same quinic acid in it that is a major cause of coffee being bitter. The sensation of bitterness is often accompanied as well by a drying feeling in the mouth. For sour, we are looking at tastes that are unpleasantly acidic. I'm talking about lemon juice, things with high levels of citric acid. Of course, there are pleasant forms of acidity, like raspberries and, and cherries, but we don't want to get them confused. Let's dive in now and talk about what can make a coffee bitter or sour. And I'm also going to be giving some suggestions along the way to avoid these tastes and keep your coffee tasting as balanced as possible. The first and sometimes most common culprit is how your coffee is ground. With two coarse of a grind, your coffee can taste sour, and we would call it under-extracted. With too fine of a grind, your coffee can taste bitter, and we would call it over-extracted. The idea here is that depending on the grind size, the water can take more or less from the coffee. And we want to hit an ideal sweet spot in the middle where we're not taking too much from the coffee, but we're also not taking too little. You can test this out and play around with grind by grinding finer and finer until you hit that obvious bitter note. Then you pull back slightly until that bitterness goes away. This is typically a good way to dial in your coffee just when it's a grind issue. But what if you don't have a grinder and you're using pre-ground coffee? Or for any reason, let's say your grind is set and you can't change it. Well, there are still some other variables that we can play around with and they all link back to extraction. For instance, you could change the water temperature. A higher temperature means more extraction and a lower temperature means less extraction. You could also change the amount of water or coffee you are using. Less coffee, for instance, would mean that there's more water to go around and that the coffee would be extracted quicker. I would suggest picturing this as a scale, where bitter and sour and over-extracted and under-extracted are on the extreme ends. And we want to be somewhere in the middle. All of these variables have a sort of pull and tug effect on where we land. And it's really up to you and your equipment to decide which variable to adjust and land within the optimal range. But let's say that you've done everything you can think of. You've ground finer or coarser, you've changed your recipe, and nothing works. What else could be at play here that causes these undesirable flavors? Well, are you using good coffee? This is where we get back to the difference between your local roaster and a gas station. Typically, a local roaster handles a higher quality product with more natural sweetness from the bean and a light roast style. Whereas a gas station is more likely to buy cheaper quality beans with a darker roast at lower elevations, which means less sugars. These two things, the quality of the coffee that's being bought and the level of the roast are absolutely going to have an effect on your coffee. And if you want to avoid bitterness, I suggest that you err on the side of a lighter or medium roast. If you want a full and flavorful cup of coffee with natural sweetness from the sugars and the beans, I highly recommend that you try to buy locally from a trusted roaster. The last area that I want to talk about is how different brewing methods and your equipment could be at fault. For instance, if you use a French press or a Chemex with a metal filter, these are more likely to leave fine particles of coffee in your cup. And this sort of silty, grainy texture can often muddy the, the full flavors and clarity of your cup of coffee. Not only that, but if the particles are large enough and they stay in your cup, 
they might continue to extract and sort of steep in the coffee, much like a tea. So be careful with the timing of your immersion brewing methods, transfer the coffee right into a cup if you're using the French press, and be aware that something like a paper filter might create a cleaner and more balanced cup. For your equipment, I would definitely recommend being careful about the grinder that you buy. If you're using a blade grinder or an old burr grinder that doesn't have sharp burrs anymore, the coffee is going to come out very inconsistent and it's going to taste bitter or sour every time, no matter what you do. In both these cases, the grinders are going to produce very different particle sizes. And if you want to learn why that is a very important problem, you can watch one of my previous videos here where I talk about why we grind coffee and what the purpose is. So make sure you get a good grinder or replace the burrs on your old one to ensure that you're making a solid cup of coffee. So I hope this was helpful to you and that you got some ideas for reducing bitterness and sourness in your coffee. And if you're a little unsure about whether your coffee could use some tweaks, I actually recommend going out and buying tonic water, get some lemon juice or squeeze some lemons, dilute them to different concentrations and taste them. Make sure that they're differentiated in your mind and that you can spot them and pick them out when you're actually sitting down and tasting a cup of coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments below if there was a time in your coffee journey where you changed your recipe slightly and there was a massive change. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you again next week. Have a great day.